Well, 25 percent of Durham's school bus fleet will become electric over the next couple of years thanks to a new federal grant. But does the district have the infrastructure needed to make the move? CBS 17's Joseph Holloway is getting some answers on what's already in place and what the district really needs to do to prepare. In a few months, you'll see the first batch of electric school buses on Durham streets. An EPA grant will pay for 38 new buses, but district officials say they've been preparing to go electric for a few years. We began three years ago with meeting with electric school bus vendors, but also importantly, understanding the requirements for the infrastructure. Five charging stations are already in place with plans for more charging stations over the next year. Transportation Director Joe Harris says they will also train drivers and mechanics on how electric buses work differently than diesel and the routes won't run as long as their current buses. We make sure that any problems we may run into on the road, any concerns, any hazards, detours, any of those things, we still have an efficient amount of energy to be able to get back to our charging locations. Durham officials tell me they plan to have their first electric buses on the roads by the beginning of next school year. In Durham, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News. Talk to a lot of folks about electric vehicles. They have their own set of thoughts, mixed feelings. Yeah, so that's our question of the day. What's stopping you from buying an EV? Uh, most of you say safety concerns, which, yeah, I mean, we've heard about some crashing. Mm -hmm. So there you go. 13% say charger, 34% say the cost. I bet that comes down over time, though. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.